You must have noticed how whenever we walk on ice or any similar surface with lesser friction like marble tiles, granite floors, etc., we tend to reduce our step size to avoid falling. Now, take a look at the dynamics of walking. While walking, the rear leg presses the ground as shown in the animation. The earth in turn exerts a reaction force on the man. This reaction force is equal and opposite to the pressing force and has two components. The vertical component is what we call normal reaction and the horizontal component is actually provided by friction. Since the friction is in the forward direction, this foot accelerates us in the forward direction. On the front leg, the pressing force makes an obtuse angle with the ground, so it presses the earth at an obtuse angle. The reaction force by earth is equal and opposite. Take a look at this reaction force. Its vertical component is what we call normal reaction. The horizontal component of this reaction force is in backward direction and it's provided by friction. Thus, the front leg retards us. Let's suppose that when the person walks on concrete surface, the reaction force on his front leg makes an angle alpha with the ground. The horizontal component is provided by friction. Now, if he keeps the angle of his front leg the same and walks on ice or any other surface with low friction coefficient, the low frictional force fails to provide the horizontal component of the reaction force exerted by earth. Hence, the person slips. Now, if he makes the length of his steps short, by doing so, he is actually increasing the angle made by his leg with the ground. So, the reaction force now acts at a greater angle with the ground. Thus, the vertical component of the reaction increases and the horizontal component reduces. This in turn means that now the normal reaction will increase and a low frictional force will be required to provide the horizontal component of the reaction force. So, surfaces with low friction coefficient like ice can also provide this reduced horizontal component of reaction force and the man can avoid falling.